So I hate myself. Because <laughs> remember playing Pokemon Guy? That was a fairly fun game. No regrets. Actually, none. But now I'm going to play the Gaia Pokemon. So I played as the girl last time, if I'm correct. Actually, no, I think I played as the boy. So. Um, I'm not creative at all, so I'm just gonna call myself Sahara. Like, don't worry, I'm not the least creative person you could ever imagine of. But still. Make it count. Well, I can hardly count to three. Yes, I want the dusty tome. Because I don't want to go all the way back up here. Hello there, mommy. Mommy, here, read it. Oh, yeah, that was a very epic letter. Okay, good. I like how text feeds automatically on... Well, battle style set. Blue is my favorite color. And sound. Let's just keep it in mono. Mono, mono, Mario e Mario. I like how they give you the running shoes almost immediately. Like, okay, we understand you don't want to walk everywhere until after being the first gym. Hello, evil bitch. I wish I could get molten whatever it's called in this game. If you're wondering, I'm going to be constantly saving just in case anything goes wrong in the recording. Sahara, you took your book. That's rude. Oh, so basically, go to the library. I don't remember where that is though. I think it's right there. Yeah, Talanto Library. All right, so I'm going to reset for an okay nature. I'm specifically going for an impish nature. Yeah, I'm going with Turtwig, despite the fact that um, Infernape's my favorite of the three. Just so you know, and I'm saving for good nature and decent IVs. Because while I'm not great with IVs and EVs, I still know that um, impish is probably the best nature for a Turtwig. Alright, I'm going to do five more attempts, and if I don't get it, then I'll just choose whatever nature is on the fifth attempt. Bashful is the fourth. Alright, I'm getting a calm natured turt twig. And, um... I think we all know what I need to name this boy. Turt twig. I'll be honest, turt twig is too good for that name, but still. You don't give the gift to me, eh? Okay, well, I called you YouTube last time. You were very annoying in the game, just like YouTube system is, so... No, wait. You know what's even more annoying? YouTube premium ads. Wait, did I spell premium right? I don't remember. Pretty sure it's premium, but... I need to make sure. <laughs> Yeah, I spelled it right. Name him Premium. It's nice to meet you. Oh, my chin off in town. Okay, me, I have to go through that stupid arc and tunnel again. Zigzag. I like how you don't get balls immediately or you can't buy them immediately. That's one thing that's always sucked about Pokemon is that you have to be given Pokeballs. No, oh, I'll turn the... Fuck! Anyway, I'll go back to where I was. Yeah, anyway, that third wig. Should probably go down.
Where's Professor Pro Pro Gaming Epic Nerd? Is this it? Oh, I did remember. Ah, oh, man, I accidentally clicked the wrong. I wanted neither of those things. I don't like the seven deadly sins. Ah, uh, the horror. Please let me play. No, no, no. Yeah, that's how you get balls in this game and potions. Alright, well, first off, I have to get my first encounter. The level three Zig the Goon. Tackle. Tackle. Ooh, organ berry. Of course it healed all him that much. Yes, okay, good. I know he has like a very high catch rate. I just like being safe, okay? He probably had like two health left. Like, yeah, he was probably very very guaranteed to be caught. I'm probably not going to keep Zigzagoon, but Um, I know he isn't a monkey, but bad boon. I think I can beat him with my boys. You know what? I trust bad boon. I will keep bad boon until he dies. Because, like, if I black out, I am going with the rule of if I black out, um, yeah, I, there's no resetting. I'm just dead. Oh, I could have gotten a Talo. How much does Bad Moon Tackle do to this Talo? That wasn't very, that made me feel a bit peckish. Stop that. Yeah, actually, you can keep growling if it means I kill you this turn anyways. Oh, a crit. 25 experience. I want to at least get this thing to level 5 if I'm going to be adding the rival. I'm not going to be putting level caps is the one thing I feel like I should say. Oh, crud, I didn't even check my mon's IVs. And I should probably switch. Because I don't want Bad Boon to die before it even gets to level 6. Because, yeah... My freaking Leafy and Bad Boon's IVs are something that not even I know. Yo, Bad Boon got to level 4. I'll take it, honestly. That's fine. Alright, summary. IVs. Terrible IVs and everything except speed. Eat. Alright, Bad Boon. Decent IVs and attack, actually. That's good. And special defense, meaning it can take that better. Honestly, overall, solid IVs. I might actually think about keeping that for a bit, because those IVs are fairly good. Oh, by the way, hitting grottos count as second encounters. It's like if I get an encounter in an area, I count hitting grottos as their own area. Anyway, so yeah, let's do... I think one or two more battles should get it to level 5. The Zigzagoon, I mean. Should at least get it to level 5. Alright, Bad Boon, show your might against the level 2 Zigzagoo. Yeah, only 3 damage. I'm pretty gangster. Oh, wow, 17 experience gave me that much after 25 experience gave over half. 
Well, I mean, at least I can kill them fairly quickly. Like, it's all either a two or three hit KO. Barring no crits, of course. I don't know it's a level up moveset, but I'm going to assume it's the same as it is in Fire Reds. So, that's pretty solid. Alright, Bad Moon. Two more battles. That did so little. Your tackle game lower than it used to be. Just kill it. Thank you. <laughs> One more kill. I hate grinding so much. Yo, I could have gotten God. I could have gotten Big Oof. Big Oof. Big Oof. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? 4% chance. No, it's 6.5% chance I think it is in this game. That great freaking attack IV really helped. Oh, wait, no. Deposit. Like, summary... Bull nature didn't matter, but that such good attack. Well, there's my death box. One mon dead. Ten minutes in. Rip. Where do I go? I forgot. Oh, wait, I think it's over here. American tunnel. I mean, hello there. All right, items are allowed in battle. I don't know, actually, if I allow items in battle. I might. I, since I'm level 6, this should be easy peasy. If I want to, I could use withdraw. Yeah. Considering that he did only 12 damage and I did his entire fucking life bar. Yeah. Rival premium. Anyway, time to poke a heal up. I will be back when I'm done. Please give me a rock and Rolla or a Steel type. Wee, a stinger! My Pokemon is level 7. Where did you put it? Rock and Rolla, I'll take it. Like I said, I wanted either a rock and Rolla. Oh, it's only level 2. At least grinding it up shouldn't be that much of a pain. Alright. I think I'm gonna hit it. Yeah, that's perfect range. Rock and roll! No! I was too busy grinding. Are you kidding me? Oh, well. Two encounters lost, and Rock and Roll was something I was really hoping I could get, because Rock and Roll is a great Pokemon. Please don't have a rock type. Okay, just a Whismer. I'll take it, actually. That's a fairly bad Pokemon. So, I can just kill it. Like, damage-wise. I don't really hate... Damn it, I was hoping I could get my first grass move. <sighs> Go away, Wismer. No one likes you. Oh, by the way, static encounters are also their own counters. Just so you know. Pidgey. Go, Pidgey. Tackle. Mine killed. I like how 42 experience is massive this early. Like, Alright, use a potion. I don't know if I'm going to allow items in battle. I might, but still. I want the bug catching contest to be... I wish the bug catching contest came earlier in this game because it's such a useful... It can give you, like, a Scyther or a Beedrill, which Mega Beedrill is a great Pokemon in this game. Game. Dwebble! I like Dwebble so much. It's such a cute Pokemon. Not a favorite, but still fairly solid. Poke me on. If I run... I'm pretty sure there's a secret Clefairy in here. I would have actually been fine with this. Oh. 
should have probably seen if I could buy repels this early. What the fudge is this? Clefairy! Okay. Oh, Sweet Kiss will be great for catching Pokemon, even if it's an inaccurate as hell. Dang it! Thing is, I can't hurt Clefairy. Thank you, Clefairy. I couldn't really hurt it, so... Yeah. And I learned Absorb. I'll take it. It's not a great move at all, but it's a move. Hmm. I don't know what to name this thing. Um, What is Clefairy based off of? Clefairy! Clefairy! Um, I don't know. Oh, wait, balanced. I fu- I don't know. Actually, ball seems like a funnier name because it's very overly round. I want ball to be useful, and I feel like Charming Cry is a decent move. Because even though it's not super powerful, if I'm correct, I'm pretty sure it's actually fairly weak. 40 power, okay, and it never misses. Metronome, double slap, okay, actually a fairly good move. Oh, Sweet Kiss does that. And I'm going to use Metronome once, maybe. But still, Fairy is great because it's very useful against dragons that I can't counter otherwise. And well, Clefairy might. Oh, wait, I didn't check its EV the Nibies. B and Special Defense, that's good. And a B plus Defense, that's fine. A minus in HP, that's also fine because at least then I mean I can survive things better. Bad, um. Physical attack, e or Eevee, though. But honestly, it's probably going to be mostly a special attacker. <laughs> like I said, I'll use Metronome once. One battle. I would be scared of that if, you know, shift gear, def attack, and speed. Alright, I'm just gonna go for the double slap, actually. Are you? <laughs> well, that wasn't very funny. Ooh, three times. Let's go. I killed it. 14 XP. Find it funny that if I either hit it one more time or just didn't suck. I could have killed it a turn earlier. But what's done's done. I legit am just thinking about seriously using Clefairy. Like, because Clefairy falls into Clefable with a Moonstone, which I'm pretty sure I get relatively early. I'm thinking about seriously using it once I get some decent moves. Like, Charming Cry is not... I forgot that it had soundproof. And I missed! Get hit by these five hits. Ooh! Get hit by this hit. One. Two. Freddy's coming for you. Your <coughs> You're scared. How about I use Charming Cry? Yeah, that's half. And you got hit by cute Charming. No, I'm gonna give him with a sweet kiss. Now he's just never going to attack. Boop. Alright, now let's go with the double struggle. Boop. And boom. Now Clefairy is at level six. Let's go, level 6 Clefairy. 
and another driller. Ooh, level four drill bear. What if Clefairy also beats this one? Cute charm again. Oh, well, that wasn't as funny. 55 experience, not bad. Dude, dude, you just, you're just an experience farm. All right, All right you're a stepping stone on my way to become either the champion or die trying. Drill bird. Drill bird. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hello, Stinga. The Soothe Bell. Okay. I'll just, I'm just trying to get the experience, man. I don't care. I'm like, ah! well, see, that's why we have Charming Cry. Because <laughs> I would do literally one damage per hit if it was, I wasn't using Charming Cry. Is that a rock and roll? Oh, a shank song. Well, I'll just punch you in the face a couple times. A quintuple times. Two crits, too. That was kind of insane, actually. Don't miss. You're supposed to kill the cute thing. Poor Shinx. You made a terrible fate, haven't you? Sing. Sing has 55 accuracy over the 75. I think I'll take it. Great for catching Pokemon, especially when I'm on a... I have a small amount of balls. Like, it's useful. Ooh, a rare candy. That's good. I'll save that for, like, right after I get a level and I'm just grinding or something. Like, because I'm trying to make my levels as even as possible with the first gym leader. I'm pretty sure the first gym leader comes pretty soon, so. Come on. Yes, I got out of... I like how my rival isn't a dick, but at the same time, I don't like it. Alright, so, one of my Pokemon's level 7. And one got to level 9. I'm near the first gym. I think I'll do some grinding. I'll get my new two, my few new encounters, because I get Eris Road. Right here. Ooh, yes! Please have Intimidate. Yes! No, don't crit. Three. All right, meaning even if I crit all five times, I don't think it'll kill. Let's see, considering I had my attack load, I'm going to go for it again. All right, I'm not going to attack it again with an attack that's not absorb. But I'm going to try and put it to sleep. Yeah, there we go. I think I might do some daycare grinding, honestly, because last time I did that, it was terrible, but let's just throw a ball. You know, kind of need some experience quickly. Daycare grinding is terrible at the beginning of the game, or is great at the game, though. I've never named a Pokemon this, but I feel like... Considering the Pokemon literally has Ray in its name, it fits perfectly. Raygon, woo. Welcome to the party or something. Should I battle? Nah. Isn't this where the daycare is? Yeah, here it is. Yes. Raise up ball. As I'm only getting... This is actually a perfect Pokemon to find. Because I did over half. And now Absorb will do almost nothing. Yeah. So Absorb. Alright, this should definitely be an easy catch. 
All right, Leafy. <laughs> And I will do the rest of my encounters in a few minutes. Alright, I've done a bit of daycare grinding. Let's see. Ooh. Oh! Dude, I'm a, I'm a child. Oh, if I want my ball back, I'll, it only costs that much? Alright, I'm doing um, a tiny bit more grinding. All right, bar. Oh. So let's see how good Shinx is, is doing now. Tackle. Doll eyes. Oh, wait, actually, no, I think I'm gonna also raise Leafy by a few levels. I'm gonna try and not overlevel too much. But still, just better safe than sorry. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Alright, so I did a tad bit of grinding. Let's see. Nice. Oh, yay! I don't know if I can afford actually getting Leafy back. Okay, just barely, I think. So, which means no more encounters for me until I beat the gym. Only $500. Or Poke Dollars. Like, I could barely afford that. Grind, but I think it'll be worth it. All right, I'm gonna fight. All right, so I want it. Um. All right, let's. I, I meant to check out my other mo my other boys. Did he learn a poison? He learned poison sting. And double kick, which is a decent move for now. So, nothing special, but still nothing bad. Isn't this a normal type? Oh, it's not a normal type. Or is it fairy normal? It's a fairy normal Pokemon. Alright, Iggly Buff, let's see, how do you deal against my Poison Sting? <laughs> You're dead. By punching me, you died. Imagine dying by trying to kill someone. No, wait, how- what did Ball get changed on? Literally nothing changed. Leafy got Razor Leaf, I'll take it. If I'm correct, Razor Leaf is a physical move. And as we can see, Leafy is a physical Pokemon. <laughs> okay. So it means this is a new room. I don't really like this gym puzzle, but... Ooh, that's... I'm just trying to level up some Pokemon. I'll make this a fair fight. Fairy Wind. I'm... Pretty sure I get this TM for beating the gym, which I will probably teach to ball. 84 experience! Woo! Spark, yes! I'm not going to put it back in the machine this time. Alright, bar. Here you go. Yeah, no. Poison Sting. Goodbye. Oh, that only did... That did only above half. Because the attack... Poisoned. Poison Sting is just the worst move ever. And I kind of like it. How perplexing. 
I like how all the fights in this gym are optional. I'm doing them for the experience. Well, oop. Maybe it's down? Yeah, it had to be down. To the right? To the... Down? To the up? Yeah. So down. To this. Something did change. Nope, nothing did change. Down? Well. I swear, if you have five Pokemon, okay, just two. Switzy and a Womati. I'm gonna use, since I'm only really going to be using Poison Sting, actually, considering how weak that was with the stab, will this do the same amount? That did the same amount. That's honestly disappointing. Just double kick it. I swear. Okay, that I thought it lived for a second. I was about to be so upset. Swirlix. Well, dead. Like how it didn't die. Poison? Dang it. I'm thinking terrible poison luck. Like, that luck has been great, but actual poison luck has been awful. I don't have a great mom with my mons. I've only just gotten them. I will say the gym's idea is cool. Maybe I have to fight every trainer after all. Well, how would you feel about getting hit by a razor leaf? That's probably gonna do more damage. No, I don't like that. How would I hit you by a razor leaf? That's gonna do a lot of damage to you. That did a lot more than I expected. Like, I, I expected it to do, like, to bring it into low yellow. Well, that was just mean. Razor leaf's probably still gonna do half. About half, actually. And because it's a big crit chance move. Are you kidding me? Stop slowing down a slow Pokemon. My crit. It didn't, but it still killed, so the job was done. Total eclipse of my heart. Here. Well, no. Oh. Hey. Now I'm saving just in case the recording goes bad. So let's use a potion. Not on Leafy. Let's use a rare candy on Bar. Creature evolves at 16, actually. That sucks. <laughs> Bring it on. Hello, leader. Fernando. Poison Sing. That did absolutely nothing. Charming Cry did absolutely nothing, actually. Poison? Can one of us get... Can I poison him? Or maybe it has magic guard. Meaning even if I do... I'm gonna kill this Pokemon, then I'm going to... Depending on what the next Pokemon is, I'm going to switch out. Ralts? I don't like the possibility of it having confusion. Honestly. Are we going to Raygun? To lower its physical attack. Yeah, see, that would have killed. Alright, now I'm going to sp now use Spark. Yo, let's go! Okay. The only Pokemon I have in fighting condition for this thing is either Ball or Leafy. I'm gonna let Ball get a shot at because it's probably gonna go for the um no it didn't. Well Dang it, no, I'm trying to make it fall asleep. Alright, one one more hit. Yes, let's go. 
Now let's just whittle it down. Or I can get a flash cannon with metronome. Okay, that was the exact opposite of what I'd want. Because I know Double Slap is going to do Jack Crab. See, that's what I wanted. See, because I'll take the defense curls any day. Dang it. Because now, Charming cries. Oh, wait. That's not too bad. That's not. That's neutral. Yeah, Leafy. Come in. Come here. Come in. Come here. Fuck her here. Oh, by the way, I feel like before I end this video, I should mention that Dupes Clause is active. Whew. Okay. Just beat the gym leader. Opponent's totally not gonna be a baby about it. No, no, no. Okay, fine. I'll get his gym badge. So since I got some money, I'm gonna heal up my mons. Catch a new one. Or get a Pokeball and catch a new one and then end the video. Since I have the money for it. Now. And also, I'll take two repels, please. Zero's path. Oh, well. Now I have to battle this boy. You say I'm not brave enough to go into Wisp Forest? I'm not scared of that place. I'm gonna poison sting you all over your face. Oh, wait, I forgot I had double kick. You're dead. <laughs> I only need one hit to kill you. Double kick? Double kick. Man, I'm just trying to evolve bar. No, I'm not gonna use another yet. I'll use it actually when I get into the forest. Or I might have gotten enough to get another. I should have beaten that trainer first, so that way I could have had three for the forest. Actually, if I'm correct, there isn't that much grass in the forest, really. But yeah, that was a fairly easy gym leader, honestly. I remember I beat this game at a fairly decent level of, like, 70, or like, 52. Ralts. Alright, now I'm not as scared of the confusion. Because, <laughs> like, at that point, confusion definitely would have killed me. I think we could have both guaranteed that. Me and you. However, now, like, I know for a fact confusion ain't gonna kill me. Even if it did live. <laughs> like, you would have needed a psychic to crit at times, like, two for it to barely kill. Okay, well, that wasn't very funny. I think I got a Nidoran male. No, I got a Nidoran female. Okay. Well, I guess I'm getting a pumpkin boo. Poison. Actually, I'm going to switch off of this character. Of this mon. I'm going to Leafy. Actually, what if I told you I didn't really want a pumpkin boo? I realized I could have used that as death fire. What am I doing? Hey, dude. Can you give me a grass type move? I went on.
Well, that's just more experience for a Pokemon that's evolving. At least give them on tackle. Thanks, buddy. All right, bar, finally about for you to be useful. Well, you know, bar evolving is massive. Be useful. That's one main reason I actually was hype about getting um bar was it's I have a move on it that's super useful. Like, sure, that was a crit, but one hit, non-stab, that was super effective from a double kick, wrecked its shit. So, like, yeah, now, Need Arena is definitely my strongest Pokemon, and once I get that stone I need, straight to the top of the tier list. So that's one reason I was really hyped about getting it. Especially considering that I don't need to worry about it not getting any more moves when I evolve it. Because while Nido Arena has a... Or Nido Queen has a pretty... <clears throat> level up moveset. It's still usable. You better give me Fairy Wind. Help my mom's yay. But he didn't. Oh. You know, I'm gonna use dead Pokemon as HM slaves. Is that okay? I hope it is because I already am. Alright, bad boon. You're getting use. Like legit, I am still very upset. Oh, wait, yeah, I forgot, it's level, it's 60 base power in this gen, in this game, I might actually keep that, especially over Scratch, which is a bad move with no super effectiveness, with it, like, so, yeah, deposit, Rock Smash isn't even that as bad of a move anymore, it's like, base 55 power, which isn't great, considering the 20 power was in this gen, though, that's amazing, it's this, I think it's Arkin. All right, guys, I'll be back in a second. So I'm now about to get out of Arkin Tunnel, like literally two more steps. So now I can actually get that hidden grotto, and I won't forget it. And the Pokemon will become useless. Oh, super potion. Yeah, I will follow the narrow path. Actually, how good is Rock Tomb in this gen? Oh, I would use it if I could. Damn. No mons. Alright, well, see you guys.